Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about physics and artificial intelligence. And today I will talk about cosmology. Now, I guess there are, we have to distinguish two fields. One is the technical side and the other thing is the more fundamental side. On the technical level, I would give you two examples where I guess artificial intelligence could be really extremely useful. One thing is supernova classification and supernova explosions. <laughs> I worked recently a little bit on that. They're terribly complicated and terribly hard to analyze because you have different chemistry, you have different sizes, you have, uh, well, the key problem is to determine distance. That's of course why we do all these analysis of supernova explosions. However, the raw data consists of light curves in different filters. And then you have different telescopes with different filters. You need to translate one data into the other one. And the real problem is to have that bunch of data and you don't even know which one is the significant part and which not. So, of course, something like the Phillips gauge, where you related absolute magnitudes to the decay of the light curve after, say, two weeks was a great discovery and was rewarded by the Nobel Prize in 2011. However, there is still this kind of arbitrary element, element in there. And it would be just great if you could take into account all the raw data light curves in different filters and determine both the type and the absolute magnitude of the explosion, which in turn gives you a very good measurement for the distance. Another even more classic example would be the Hubble tuning fork. It's very interesting to classify galaxies. There are barred galaxies. You can count the bars and you can count the winding number. And these are only spiral galaxies. And then you have elliptic galaxies and irregular galaxies. And it's very hard for a human to sort that out. And there have been projects involving amateurs who collaborated for doing all this classification. But presumably, we haven't even found the most significant elements, how to analyze this wealth of data. We have fantastic data here. And I guess although in this case, artificial intelligence will bring us to a revolution in processing this incredible amount of data. On the other hand, on the theoretical level, I guess, however, we cannot expect much progress on a short time scale. I mean, what you can do is running the usual models with parameters of dark energy and dark matter. But I guess, uh, well, these are free parameters, but don't tell us something about the fundamental level. I myself think that dark energy could be an artifact because you have the wrong model. If you go to variable speed of light cosmology, you might explain it that way. On this level, I, I will still have a hard time to find better explanations. It's a little bit different from particle physics. Here you have also these tons of free parameters. I believe even these parameters are just dumped and might be replaced by AI by finding better parameters. But in cosmology, you have not so many parameters yet. Mike Disney said in a very nice paper, I guess you have 13 independent observations in cosmology and 17 free parameters. So it's not healthy by any scientific standards. But, well, I still would say the idea of dark matter is it's not a dumb idea or the idea of even dark energy. It's something, well, people might come up. Of course, you have to reflect on a deeper level, but it's not, it's not a stupid approach in the first place. Anyway, as I said, on the technical level, data processing, I think we can expect huge progress. On the fundamental level, we still have to wait for the really smart algorithm that helps us out of this conundrum. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.